Hey you guys, I just wanted to do a quick video. Um, I recently started buying Teak's uh, shoes, ballet flats, whatever you want to call them. And oh, here's a hot mess a little bit. Anyways, um, so I have been buying the Teak's lately. And there's some new company that came out um, called the Storehouse Flats or something. And I've been looking online for a video regarding those shoes because I wanted to kind of compare them and see them and maybe get some more info on them. So I actually found a pair. And so I'm going to kind of compare them with the Teaks just so you can um, just get an idea like what the difference is between them. So I have some info down here. So I'm going, so here's how the Teaks come. Let me show you this first. So... Okay, there's this card, and they come in a box like this, so it's covered like that. And then it has a little flower, which I don't have it right here. Anyway, so this is how they come in this box. And so these are the um, pink snakes, I believe. So take them out. Inside, there is a little bag. Um, and this little tiny bag here and then it has a, another bag and I'll open this for you I'm sure if you've seen the other videos you know what it is okay so what you're supposed to do is you put your heels or whatever you're wearing you can put them into this little bag and carry them around so that's that comes with a little card here and they usually have a, like a handwritten note there's that, and then there's a card, which I don't have that here. I have them somewhere else. Anyway, so that's how they come. Nice box, like sturdy, personalized card. So you get like that personalized attention, I guess you could say. So here is the ballet flat. That signature teaks that they have. Foldable. Opens up. And there is your shoe. So these are leather. Um, the insole is leather. Like this part right here is a leather. This darkens with time. So, um, but yeah. So these are the pink snakes, I believe they're called. Anyways, I will put some pictures. I'll put all the info down in the description. So this is what they look like. They're really nice. And these were like uh, 200 something. So they have this signature, kind of like blue. That's their thing. So that's that. Okay. Now for the storehouse flats. So I just got them today. They, they came in uh, kind of wrapped up with like some tissue paper. That said thank you or whatever. Okay, so this is the bag now. It is April, the end of April. Now the next order, so what you do is you order them and then you have to wait six to eight weeks, I believe, and then you get your shoes. So Teaks, you go onto their website, you get them within like two, three days. Depends, like two, three business days. So these ones, you're actually waiting a month and a half to two months to actually receive them. So what you do is you put half down when you order them and then when they come in you pay the other half um, let me show you these and then I'll go through the differences so here they are in the bag and these are the pink snake or whatever they call them so here they are and there you go I mean they're really pretty really pretty um, this inside is leather as well. Um, on the heel it actually says, gives you like the size 8. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. But um, leather upper, I'll take some pictures. Uh, leather upper, leather insole, balance mad ma man made. And that's my storehouse flats. Okay, so the bottom of these are like this color, this khaki color, whatever. Next month, or for the next order, which is May, 
they're going to have like a gray bottom. And I think the inside is going to have a different color, I believe, as well. Um, really pretty. I mean, here's the two different two. I mean, these are different styles, of course, but a lot of people say they like these because they feel that there's more room in this toe box. Um, these are size eight. These are size nine. Uh, the teaks are a nine. I wear an eight and a half to a nine. Uh, European 39 to 40 is what I wear. But I got these in an eight just because I didn't know if I'm going to find them again. So I was like, let me get the eights. So they do fit snug on my feet. Um, these were actually a little big and I'm going to be exchanging them. So for another, for another nine, because I wear nine and other teaks. Okay. The difference. Uh, the teaks. Let me get another pair. This is another pair of teaks. Okay, so these are the blue. Cobalt blue, I believe, is what they're called. Okay. These plain colors start at 175 And they can go all the way up to $345, depending on the design. But your basic ones are 175 They start off at that. Um... The storehouse flats, they, um, the plain colors are, I believe, 60 and I think 60, 62, somewhere around there. Um, the designs like this one, uh, I believe 70 to $75, somewhere in there. So there is a big difference in price. Now, quality. Um, so the quality on these, um, they have this little padding the, the f on the foot and on the heel. You can tell the quality or the materials on the teaks are of much better quality, okay? Um... I actually measured because when you feel it, like the teaks, you can feel the leather and it's pretty thick. The storehouse flats, they are thinner. It's thinner. It's a lot thinner. Like you can feel a difference. Okay. Um, so what I did is I actually measured like the thickness of this. And so what I did is the thickness. The, uh, the seam around is what I measured, only because like it was hard to get inside where the, just the leather is. So I did like where the, where the seam is. The teaks were 3.4 millimeters. On the storehouse flats, it was 2.7. Difference. Um, let's see, as for cushion, the teaks is more, um, more solid, I guess you could say. Uh, the storehouse flat has a little bit of a cushion in it. Now, what happens after you wear them for like a year? I don't know, because I just got these. So, um... There's a little cushion in there, but the, the sole of this little blue part here, on here, and if you compare them, there is a difference in thickness. You can see that. Um, there's the bottom, maybe hard to tell. But, so this part, this is leather as well. This is leather as well. Just, they're thicker. They're, these are handmade. I'm not sure the storehouse flats, how they're made. Um, 
I mean, it seems like it's machine made. And I guess these are made in China. I'm not sure where the teaks are made, but you can see that right there. The teaks, these are handmade, I guess. So you can see that seam right there. So, honestly, you're getting what you pay for, okay? So, if you're paying, like, say this is the Mercedes-Benz of flats, and this is probably like uh, maybe your Honda, which is not bad. I drive a Honda, so Honda's not bad. So, I guess it just depends, you know, like, if you have the money, go buy teaks. But if you are not able to drop 175 per pair and up, you know, this is not a bad, a bad choice. So with these, you know, uh, you have to actually find someone that sells them. And there are people on... Um, on Facebook, there's a few groups where uh, with resellers that sell these. So you would have to, um, on the first of the month, I guess they open up uh, your pre-orders is what they call it. And so you go in and you will pre-order what you want. And then you pay the half and then the rest of it you pay when it's done and they're ready to ship it out to you. These ones, you know, the teaks. You go in, go into the website, you see what you want, you order it, and you have it in two days. So if you want instant gratification, which I usually do, teaks, if you are able to wait, then, you know, this is a good alternative. It's not a bad, it's not a bad shoe. I don't know, maybe later on I'll make an update to tell you how it is wearing after a while. I'm getting another pair of these. Um, in the green, they had like a like electric green. I don't know what it was called, but it was a green snake print. So I am waiting for that because that one's going to be a size nine. So that I will probably be able to wear it a little bit more comfortably. Um, so, you know, that's the difference. I mean, these Sam Edelman's too. You know, a lot of people have these as well. Um, these shoes I do like, these are like a nine, size 39, but they're actually kind of tight on me because when I wear these shoes, I have issues like right up in here and my toe would get numb just the way it hits. But, you know, I do like these shoes, but this is, uh, this leather is pretty thin as well. It's a little bit, it's a little thicker than the storehouse flats so um you know but this is a nice shoe too but right now i'm just comparing teaks storehouse flats and the teaks um so you know i mean like i said you get what you pay for so um if you are not able to to splurge that 175 you know these are really nice too they're really pretty um they have like a bunch of colors and same thing with teaks, they have different colors. So, um, but I just wanted to put that out there for you guys. And I will put some pictures after the video of me wearing them so you can kind of see how they they look on my feet. And um, like I said, maybe I'll do an update of the video, like an update video uh, wear and tear on both of the shoes. And then that way you guys can get an idea of uh, what you might want to buy, right? These storehouse flats, you got to find somebody, more than likely you're going to find them on Facebook and you would have to order them the first of the month is when they open up orders. So the next order is May 1st. And I don't know how long they have the, the ordering open for because like I said, I'm not too familiar. Like I just got these basically just to really try and compare them. And um, then you have to wait six to eight weeks for your shoes to come in. That's the hardest part. I think for a lot of people is 
waiting that six to eight weeks. So anyways, you guys, thank you for watching. Um, hit that like button if you liked it. If not, you know, sorry. But uh, if you have any questions at all, comments, uh, just write them down and I will try and answer them uh, as best I can. Like I said, I'm not getting paid by anybody. This is just, um, I didn't see anyone with storehouse flats. Uh, I haven't seen any videos at all. So I just wanted to do that for uh, all you people, lovely ladies and gentlemen, it, so you can kind of get an like a idea of the difference between the two and how me personally, this is how I see the two shoes. So uh, hopefully that helps you a little bit making a decision and um, I will put some pictures at the end here. Okay. Thank you for watching guys. You have a good day. Have a good night. Peace.